you do? Heavy rain. I'll just music to about 60. Off, sir. Please step back. Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. You got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Check. You can pass. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. Is that Norman Jaden is this guy? This guy is Norman Jaden. Oh, yes, yeah, put on the cool shades. Act like Video Neo from the Agent 47023, Norman J. Tuesday, October 4th, So you can choose uh, whenever you can. What do you want? Hey, can I talk to you? Hey. Hey, buddy. Okay, let's, let's put the glasses back on real quick. Oh, wow, that's cool. It's like you're gonna scan the area for clues. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Over there, huh? Thanks. Always you point me in the right direction. Unlike these other guys. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Same audio, huh? Here, let's take off these glasses. And then glove too, you don't need the glove. Lieutenant Blake, I'm Agent Norman Jane from the FBI. I went by your office this morning, they told me to be here. Office. If you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, 
tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes. I can't hear myself think. He went by that office. Right away, Lieutenant. Well, are you coming, Jake? Hey, yeah. So, what happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about six o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, it looks like the work of the origami killer. Origami killer. Why is the grammar so bad in this? Has the body been identified? No, not yet. We should know more later today. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. Just so you guys know, I can, can see like nothing of what you're chatting right now because uh, I gotta reset my computer. Has the time of death been established? Based on the rigor mortis, must be less than six hours ago. We should know more once the coroner has had a look. Way to bump into that guy. Way to bump there into the sheriff. There are people on the crime scene. Aren't you afraid your men might destroy some clues? You don't find proof sitting behind a desk. We're not in the habit of trampling things into the ground if we're not in the FBI. No. No, of course not. That's, that's not what I could... Alright, give me one sec so I can get this back up. anything behind we'll find it all right any witnesses none yet given the neighborhood i'd be surprised if anybody oh, saw anything camera. listen i'm a little busy here why don't we discuss all this a little later back at the office well no problem i understand do you mind if i have a look around be my guest well hey jade Come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. What the hell? Alright. Let's put the glasses back on. Let's see if we can find anything. Footprints. Lots of footprints. Ah, it's probably from. Oh. This. Harry County, sample of no interest. It comes from one of the policemen present on the waste Oh, okay then. No, I don't want to take the glasses off. I just want to check around this pine table. One. There's something over here. Probably something else from one of the policemen, isn't it? Oscar Dalzell. Unrelated to the investigation. I don't know if you guys can tell, but on my, on my screen, like, the frame rate is actually kind of pretty choppy. You can see the jacket, like, glitching in and out. Some orchid pollen. The concentration of pollen in the air is quickly decreasing because of the rain, but it gets higher in the direction of the body. One sec. My computer is having some serious issues right now. Anything else here? Pulsator. There's some stuff here. Harry comment, sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the way to land. Yeah, don't leave me at the wall. That's a uh, crime scene thing. Sorry, that's my dad in the background. Um, hmm. Wait. 
this. I hate when this problem occurs. Is that an evidence table? Yeah, I'm gonna go check that out. No! Well, Oh, it's just cake, or coffee, or whatever it is. <laughs> Knowing these policemen, it's probably coffee. Anything on the railroad tracks, interesting to investigate. So, other than that, I think I'm done. Let's just keep walking and pulse in this area. Maybe we'll find something hidden. I already investigated that, right? Yeah, I can't investigate that again. More footprints. Yeah, I think that's everything. What, do you see his face? He doesn't even have the glasses on. He took off nothing. He's had like just like little, just like really pale shade on his eyes. I'm heading back to the office. Stay in. No, oh, I've seen enough. I'm leaving too. Yeah, we've seen everything, so. Can I put a car door properly? Tell me there's an area I didn't investigate. Well, it's a good thing to indicate, like, the areas. Signs of violence. Oh, geez, that's a lot. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I, did, I didn't mean to do that. No, no, no. Look back in there. Origami in his hand. A small origami figure in the right hand. <clears throat> Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest.
down here. The victim is Jeremy Bowles, declared missing five days ago. See reference file. It's over here. His face is covered with mud, like the other victims. And over here. Fast. Gently investigate. Superficial wound on the right thigh. Blood analysis suggests it could be post-mortem. Probably a scratch that occurred when the body was removed. <coughs> blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. Anything else? I don't think so. All right. Now I think we're done. I swear if it tells me, oh, you missed something again, I'm gonna get in the way. <laughs> Not really, but. I think I've investigated everything from that victim's body. I'm back to the police station now. Butterfly. Butterfly. It's a wolf. A wolf's head. It's a crab. It's a crab. Blood. Blood. Blood spreading through water. Anxiety. I have the results of your MRI scans. Everything seems to be normal. There is no physical damage from the accident. However, I am worried about your psychological condition. I know it's not easy, but you've got to start over, Ethan. You're not responsible for what happened. It's my fault Jason is dead. He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. It was an accident. Accidents happen every day. You can't blame yourself forever for your son's death. How is Sean? I know he's disappointed in me. I'm not the father I used to be. He's a great kid, you know. He deserves better. And what about you, Ethan? What do you feel? I stopped living at the same time Jason did. Car running. Is there something else you wanted to tell me, Ethan? I sometimes have these blackouts. Times when I don't know what I'm doing. I recover consciousness sometime later. 
but I'm someplace else. And I have no idea how I got there. Do you think this could be related to the accident? You suffered a massive concussion and were in a coma for six months. We really don't know what effect a shock like that can have on the brain. That's the end of this session. Uh, we'll continue this conversation next week. You were lucky, Ethan. It's very rare to survive such a traumatic accident. I don't exactly feel lucky, Doctor. <clears throat> okay then. How did things go at school today? I was punished because I didn't do my homework. I'm sorry about that. Next time, yeah, that was my fault. Together, okay. Do you want to eat something? Is something the matter, Sean? No, I'm alright. Aren't you gonna go play with the other kids? I don't feel like it. A boomerang? You know how to use it? No, not really. I can never make it come back. Can I give it a try? I don't mind. I too. I missed it. <laughs> Gotta be able to improve my catch. Try that again. I reacted way too slowly there. Here it comes. Look at that. He's actually impressed him for once. Oh, doing it again, huh? And throw. Here it comes. Whoa, you did it, Dad. Do you want to give it a try? I won't be able to do it. Oh, come on, let's try it together. Now, the main thing is to get the right position at the beginning. Now, you're going to throw it straight and a little to the right. All right. Like that. R1. Throw it! There it comes. I did it! I did it, Dad! Good job, Sean. See? That wasn't so hard. Now he's running around with it. <laughs> okay, do. Can I do something else now? Oh, I can sit back down. Come on, sit, sit back down. Or give back up. Huh. Wait. I haven't been on a seesaw in a long time. 
What do you think? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> That was my bad because I didn't know that was a quick time. <laughs> well, the kids are having fun, so. I've never seen a playground that has an actual merry-go-round like that. Oh, hey. You want to go play on the swing? I'll push you. Okay. The thing that I find funny about this is that like they're all, like all these kids are here in the rain. I can't ever fall by doing that. <laughs> the wire like shook and it made me hit the camera and make it make it fall. Sorry about that. You can't do anything else, you gotta ask him if he wants to leave. Wherever he went. Probably back to his bench. Yep. Looks like rain's coming. I think we better go. Okay. You know, sometimes I remember before, I mean, when Jason was still here. Sometimes I wish everything could just be the way it was before. Me too, Sean. Me too. Ready to go. Oh. Let's Come wait on, exit. Dad, what are you doing? I'm coming. Come on. Come on, Sean. I'm zooming on his hey, face, though. Can I have a ride on the carousel? Can I? Sure. Go pick a horse and get on. 
I'll get a ticket. Where's the tickets for the... Oh. One, please. That's a dollar. You didn't even give you a ticket. Yeah, I've never seen the carousel on an amusement park before. Not amusement. An actual park. Why did I say amusement park? Oh crap, just have another blackout. Back. I have lost two of your kids. And he's already got me in his hand. <laughs> Unlocked a new bonus. And we're back to this guy. We're back to Norman. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's very cool. Okay, that's freaking awesome. <laughs> I 
<laughs> the guy's on it like, what the hell? How is that bouncing off, like, invisible stuff? It's like, why is that not, like, coming here? Alright. I think that's enough. You think it's gonna take long? No, we should be finished soon. Fine, more entertainment. Now. I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. Oh, cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Oh, Captain. Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. Jaden, of course. We've been expecting you. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we want. Yeah, of course. I wanted to introduce myself before getting started, but. Uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, no, it's fine. We just have to get to the press conference. We have them every day now. Believe me, it's not always easy finding something to tell them. Fortunately, today we have some news. Have you met Lieutenant Blake yet? What? Yeah, we met this morning. He has his own methods, but he's a good cop. I'm sure you'll get on it. Do you know how to tie a knot in the necktie? I guess. To be frank with you, I could have done without the FBI on this one, but the press, they're all over us. This origami... I can't tie a tie. Are you serious? ...crept up on us, and it's fast becoming a national concern. There are hundreds of killers in this country. What do you know? This guy is exotic. These flowers and origami figures. Work that one out. What the heck? And the press get onto it, and we suddenly become the center of the universe. I'm here to arrest a serial killer. With all due respect, sir, the rest of it, it's none of my business. I did it with the freak. No, oh, of course not. All I'm asking is that you make progress, and fast. The press want a perpetrator, and we're gonna have to serve him up on uh. a silver platter. Well, I hope you're better at profiling than at tying knots. I did my best, come on. Oh, hey. Oh, go see Charlie and she'll show you to your office. Yeah, check in on the press conference if you're interested. It'll give you an idea of the you did it good. climate around here. Thank you, sir. Welcome to the club, Jaden. Motion present. Nice watch. Oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. We bought the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. It optimizes everybody's time, and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. You can contribute to our fund if you like, or still if you don't the short. Congratulate Larry on my behalf. I'll be sure to do that, sir. Captain Perry said you could show me to my office? Yes, of course. Follow me. This? This is my office? That's where I was told to take you. It's kind of a crappy office, if you ask me. A 
Okay, time to work. Time to drink coffee. No, I'm just kidding. Step one, change the eyes. So you like a galaxy. What's this like? Is that like sky or something? That's like water. They give me no indication how to do this. Um, hmm. Let me move my camera real quick. So I can actually see what's on the bottom, like, right. Move it to... Well, left. I didn't mean to do that. Let's change the environment. What does this one look like? Whoops. I'll go back. I suspect that it's going to look normal for everyone else, though. What does this look like? Okay, so this is, this is what I was like. I was right. Um, this one's like where you're up in the clouds. I still get a Matrix vibe from this guy. That one looks pretty cool as well. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep that. Let's get rid of that. File. Or we're gonna kill our victim, isn't Or we're gonna kill our modus operandi. Eight victims in the last three years. All boys, aged between 9 and 13. No signs of violence. 
The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. Bodies are found three to five days later. Drowned. In rainwater. disappeared in the fall. Now I gotta move my camera back over to that side so I can see a lot of other options. Confidence rapidly moved away from his base. Mm, this won't make the geo profiling any easier. Right. Always the same ritual an origami in the hand, an orchid on the chest. Victims have always been dead for less than six hours when they were found, which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. Over 3,500 people questioned, over 100 suspects interrogated, not a single lead to go on. The killer is white. Age between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. No doubt of the geo analysis. Looks like there's something new. Ari, come in. Tire tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. No data for geo analysis. or specific clues. Hmm. Nothing much to go on. Just one origami store in town. Probably a Chevrolet Malibu 83. It is a common species. It can be found at any flower shop. Come on, clear it. Alright, let's look at the map real quick. Nothing. So it's somewhere within this area, okay.
Sorry about that. I need to take some. I'm insane if I resist. It's all right. I know I can make it. I know. I know I can make it. This is Lieutenant Blake, Mr. Marshall. Could you please tell him what happened? It, it was this afternoon. I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while. And then he wanted to go on the carousel, so I put him on one of the wooden horses. And when I turned back, Sean had disappeared. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be important. It must have been about... Five thirty, I think. I'm not really sure. What was your son wearing when he disappeared? He was wearing a coat. Beige. A beige coat. And a pair of pants. Black. Black pants. How could Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Weren't you right by the carousel? I, I did. I I didn't leave. I watched the carousel. How could Sean possibly vanish if you were right there watching the carousel? I don't know. I don't understand. You say you took your son to the park after school. But you didn't report him missing until 8.15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? I... I don't know. I panicked. I didn't know what to do. All right. That's all the questions I have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. Do... Do you think the origami killer... Listen, the sun's probably just run off and it'll turn up in a couple hours. But what if it is the origami killer? Well, then we have about four days to find him alive. something? No, nothing yet, but they're gonna keep looking through the night. Do they... do they think it's the origami killer? It, it, it's still too early to say. But it is a possibility.
Oh, we're going back to him, to uh, Scott now. Sir? Well, I hope so. My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. Um, I'm investigating the case of the Oregon killer. I I'd like to ask you a few questions. My son is dead, Mr. Shelby. I have nothing more to say. The killer has kidnapped another victim. A ten-year-old boy. Like your son, Reza. I have four days before we find him. His body on a deserted stretch of waste. No one did anything to save my son. Now, please, to move along, sir. I also lost someone I loved. I know what you're feeling. Then you will understand that I do not wish to talk about it. Oh, do you sell inhalers? I'm all out. At least I won't go away completely empty handed. The back of the store, to the right. Thanks. Good evening, sir. Are you looking for something in particular? It's a robber, you idiot. Give me what you got in the register. Don't fucking try anything. Open the register, you dumb fuck. Put the money on the counter. Shit, are you deaf or what? Are you gonna open that fucking register or not? No, sir. Sneak up on him. You do not have the right to steal that money from me. I have worked very hard to earn it. You cannot Sneak have Sneak up on this guy. Hey, you! Come here! I said, come here now! Don't move! Hands up! Put your fucking hands up or I'll shoot! Look, it's not worth it. Put the gun down. Just walk away. You giving me advice? I'll give you some fucking advice. Don't panic. Let's just stay calm. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Uh, we're all just gonna be cool, and everything will be all right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm cool, man. Everything's gonna be all fucking right. You don't really want to shoot anybody, do you? I'm sure we can find a way out of this mess, right? You're not a killer, are you? You just want a few extra dollars. No blood on your hands. No, I'm not a killer. I ain't no killer. Uh, my name's Scott. What about you? What's your name? Andrew. My name's Andrew. Do you have anyone you care for in your life? A girlfriend, maybe? A family? Yeah. A little girl. I got a little girl. Her name is Jessica. What would Jessica think if she saw you here? Ask yourself, what would happen to her if things go wrong? Nice try. For a second there, you almost had me believing all your shit. Not today, buddy. <laughs> this guy's just getting away. Oh, thank you, sir. I don't know what would have happened. You had not been. Well, this I didn't come by for nothing. Have a nice day. 
When my boy, Razor, disappeared, I received a letter with a locker ticket inside. Inside the locker, I found this box. I do not understand what it means, but I think it must be a sort of message from the man who took my son from me. Can I? Please, take the box if it can be of any use to you at all. It did not help me to save Reza, but maybe it will help you find the other little boy. Mr. Shelby. I was beginning to think that there was no good to be found in this place. I can see now that I was wrong. He just leaves a robber in there, he's not gonna worry about arresting him or anything. Didn't take the gun. Didn't do anything. You know when he wakes up he's gonna shoot that guy, right? Plot twist. It's Jody Holmes.
Yes, don't close the door or nothing. <laughs> Oh great, are you, are you serious? Are you serious right now? Why? Okay, obviously I'm gonna have to edit this out because I don't think there's no way this is gonna get on YouTube. Seriously though, oh my god. Give me one sec.
Yeah, um... Well, I'm gonna, like, end the stream real quick, because I gotta figure out how to work around this little issue that we're having. Uh... So yeah, I'll do another stream in just a second. Let me just figure out how to get around this. Thank mm -hmm. you.